Let me be the first one to tell you that I'm about to sound like a big old baby. And I'm okay with that. Because it's okay to act like a baby sometimes. Not a lot in life, but sometimes, you know, when you're by yourself. And really, the reason I'm acting like a baby is because I feel like I have no respect. I feel like the MLS, the Seattle Sounders, no one shows me any respect. And every time I turn this TV on and flip through the sports stations, all they're talking about is, oh, Anthony Skills going on loan, he's leaving, he's, he's out of here, he's going on loan to other, some other country. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, where's my respect? I've scored goals, I've given assists, I've given you little noobs victories, I've given you guys three points consistently, and I just, I, I can't make a lineup. And now we're going up against my favorite team in the MLS, DC United, legendary difficulty, we're playing in DC, which means my pos possibly my family would be here watching, which means I really want to go off and have a good game. Not for Seattle Sounders, not for the coach, not for the owner of the team, for me, for my family, to prove that. I know I deserve to play here. Nine minutes of the game, I put a move on that defense and I'm just gone. I'm pace abusing, using my pace. They can't catch me one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper. And instead of shooting, I give a beautiful, beautiful assist to Captain America, a.k.a. Mr. Dempsey. And you can't say I'm not a team player and you can't say I deserve to go on loan. I mean, everything I've done for Seattle except for one game has been fantastic. I burned through that entire defense, could have taken that shot near post and possibly scored, but instead I took the 100% certain goal, which a footballer should always do. Not only do I feel like I'm not getting respect from the uh, uh, Seattle Sounders, I want to talk about how you don't get respect from FIFA. <laughs> and what are you, you're going to be like, what do you mean, skills? Let me show you. Watch my player rating. Right now, I got a 70, and Alonso's on the ball. He swings that down. Dempsey's on the ball. Nice over the top tour skills. One-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper. Possibly a penalty. Did he get the ball first? I'll let you guys decide. I think that could have been a penalty. Tell me in the comments down below. Skills in the ball. 23 minutes working through everybody. Skills to none. Skills shoots it. And what a save by the DC United goalkeeper getting down nicely to block it. Now, I got two or three accomplishments there, and we win the corner four accomplishments actually i think actually i think it was three three accomplishments i call for the ball in the middle nice ball into the middle try to get my head to it i miss it and a great opportunity there for us to get a second goal down the wing yedlin passes it to skills skills in the box rotates nicely the shot that one got blocked by the center back otherwise that was gonna be a booyah 40th minute dc united they're on it they cut inside dc united a chance to tie the game here nice passing beautiful moves out in front of the box a nice beautiful pass and this one just goes wide Keeper had no chance at it. That one should have been in the back of the net, but somehow DC United misses. So altogether, was I the man of that first half? Maybe I was the man of the match of the first half. I got a good assist. I gave it a Dempsey, but he probably had a higher overall. Look at this right here. When that penalty happened, I believe I had like a 6.8, maybe a 70 overall. Dempsey goes to the spot. Remember, I earned the penalty. I got the penalty. My hard work, my dedication. I got the penalty. That's what I did. I went out there. I earned the penalty. And Mr. Dempsey puts it to the back of the net. I'm super happy with that. I, I gave Dempsey an assist. Now I got Dempsey a penalty. What I'm not happy about is the way FIFA 15 rates players. See, I'm on a 7.4, which means for me, getting that penalty gave me no points at all. That shot just goes wide. And that's kind of BS because FIFA doesn't give you, they don't award you for hard work. And, and, and for, is that a penalty? Look how I hit my leg. My, look, my leg snapped on him. But anyways, they don't give you, they don't award you player ratings or player grades, whatever you want to call it, for winning penalties, for running back and winning the ball in a position you're not supposed to, for completing a certain amount of passes. They, they don't, they only give you the stuff for like, okay, you got an assist. Okay, you got a goal. Here's your player rating. But that's BS because you, you know, I, I influenced this game with the penalty, and I didn't get no credit for it. Look at this, I'm on like a, uh, I'm on a 6.7. A 6.7 with a penalty and an assist. I don't know, it's just crazy. 90th minute, DC United ball falls back to them. They have a chance to tie it up, moving the ball around nicely. They pass it all the way back and make a mistake. We win the game. Actually, they could have tied, they could have found the goal. And we win it 2-0. Now, again, let me know in the comments down below, but do you think their player grade system needs to be changed? Because I think it does. If you don't get an assist or a goal, you don't really get a good rating unless you're perfectly, even if you pass perfect, 100% passing, I want a penalty, I got an assist, and all I get is a 6.7.
they got to give credit for me winning that penalty, man. Hope you guys enjoy. Please smash a big old thumbs up. Go ham on the buy players if you're enjoying it with a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe and let me know if you think FIFA needs a new rank system. We out of here.